she was expressing that she wanted um, JJ to go live with Kay, and she can she expressed um, different solutions. Um, he could either stay with Kay or. I believe a son of Kay's that had a family already that JJ was comfortable with, or that they liked JJ and it was a good match. I think they had a little girl, and she said that she would express to Kay that he was um, that she was sick or something was wrong with her, so that she could um, uh, live with him. So, uh, so that who could live with JJ could live with Kay. Okay. And at any time after that weekend, did you ever have a follow-up conversation in regards to that, uh, to that subject? Yes. Uh, do you remember approximately when you had that follow-up conversation? It was shortly after. I can't recall. Okay. Uh, what was the, the nature of that follow-up conversation? I asked how it went, giving JJ to Kay. She told me that they met up in an airport, and she told Kay that she had breast cancer and that she would need help with JJ for a period of time, and she said it went well. Okay. Uh, so was it your understanding after that conversation that JJ Vallow was located with Kay Woodcock? Yes. And had you ever met Kay Woodcock? Briefly. When? Um, the time that Charles Vallow was moving out of his house in Arizona to Louis, um, Texas. And who was Charles Vallow? Uh, Lori's husband. Okay. Ms. Gibb, I'm going to call your attention to the date of November 26, 2019. Uh, do you recall uh, where you were, where you were on November 26, 2019? I do. Where were you? I was in Pleasant Grove, Utah, in David Warwick's home. Okay. Now, do you live in, do you live in Utah? No. Where do you normally live? Gilbert, Arizona. Okay. And so were you visiting Mr. Warwick that day? Yes. Okay. Um, did anything significant happen uh, that day in regards to Chad Daybell? Yes. Okay. Uh, what contact, if any, did you have with Mr. Daybell that day? I received a phone call from Chad Daybell from his cell phone to my cell phone, and um, I answered the phone call. Okay. Do you recall approximately what time it was? Late morning. Okay. And you you said you got a call from his cell phone? Mm-hmm. How do you know it was his cell phone? Because it, when the phone number came up, it had his name on it. Okay, and was that a contact you had previously stored in your cell phone? Yes. Okay. And I was... Ms. Gibb, had you previously had any discussions with Mr. Daybell through that same phone number? Yes. Okay. Um, do you recall what that phone number was? Yes, it was 208-690-9374. Okay. Um, and I may have already asked this. I apologize if I did. Approximately what time did you, were you called by Mr. Daybell that day? Late, late morning. Okay. What was the nature of that conversation? He said, hi, Melanie, this is Chad. Um, the Rexburg police are going to call you. Don't pick up. He okay. said, oh. Okay. Uh, where did the conversation go from there? He, um, he let me know that the police were over at... Lori Vallow's home in Rexburg, and that um, they were inquiring about where JJ was, and that she was going to tell the police that JJ was with me. Okay, how did you respond? In shock, and I can't recall if I said anything at that moment. Oh, I did say, after the shock, 
I said, JJ's not at Kay's house. And how did Mr. Daybell respond to that? He said, no. Okay. Uh, did you, uh, was there any other content to that conversation? I asked him if he was nervous and he said yes. Okay. Was anything else said? I can't recall. Okay. That same day, November 26, 2019, did you have any contact with Lori Vallow? Yes. Okay. Do you remember approximately where you were when you heard from defendant, from Lori Vallow? Yes, I was in the same place. Where, and, okay, and where was that again? That was in uh, Utah, in David's home. And approximately what time did you hear from defendant Vallow, Lori Vallow? I possibly within an hour or two, I can't exactly recall. Okay. And when you say an hour or two, what, what is that in reference to? Her calling me, Lori calling me. Right. Was it an hour or two after after what? After, I'm sorry, J Chad's phone call. Okay. Um, what was the nature of that conversation? Uh, when I picked up, she said, "Hi, Melanie. This is you know." Well, she probably didn't say her name, but she said, "Just want to let you know everything's fine." She was upbeat, cheery, acting like nothing was wrong. Uh, where did what happened after that? Um, she told me that the police had been there asking for JJ and that she told the police that I had JJ, that I was at a movie called Frozen, that she asked me just to pick up my phone and take a picture, a random picture of kids running around, um, and that she would come by and pick him up and then, no, I'm sorry, that after me driving home from Utah to Arizona, that she would come and get him later that week. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna stop you right there, okay. Ms. Gibb. Uh, I'm gonna point you, you back to this conversation or the statement about uh, picking up your phone. Mm -hmm. What did she ask you to do with that again? Take, take a picture of random kids to make it look like it was JJ. Okay, um, and, and I kind of lost track. I apologize. That's you, okay. You said something about driving down to Arizona. What was what was that part of the conversation? Who said what? So she knew that I was going down to Arizona for Thanksgiving back to my home. And she said that she told the police that she was going to pick him up from my house from Arizona, which I had no previous knowledge to this. This was new information to me. Okay. Um, did Lori say anything else to you about JJ? Um, I can't recall exactly, but I can recall what she talked about, about Kay. Okay, did, okay what did she say about Kay? She said that um, Kay was trying to kidnap JJ. And I said, how do you know? And she, she said, well, I've received emails, you know, being threatened that, that, was, um, that he was gonna kid kidnap her. I said, well, what, what does she say? And she said, well, she sent me emails and she said, she quoted Kay saying, it's not like I'm gonna kidnap him or, or anything. And that she was, um, that she was trying to protect JJ and from her and other people, not just Kay, but possibly family members as well. 